I see more art out there and more people willing to try art and more people just wanting to immerse themselves in every facet of art. So I think Huntsville has come a long way from when I first got here as far as art is concerned. I actually was very interested in it growing up, but my, my mother said, <laughs> That's not a real career. <laughs> so I went to school for social work. I came down to Huntsville, Alabama from California, and I went to Oakwood University, and I actually worked as a social worker for a short time. And one day I wanted to paint something, and my father, who was a Grammy-nominated jazz musician, said, okay, paint me something. So I painted something that I saw online, because I didn't know any better back then, and his friends called him out on it and said, you know, it's a copy. <laughs> so he said, paint something original. And he began having gumbo and jazz art parties. And he would sell paintings, so they were all music-based. And he'd have all his friends over, and they would jam out, eat gumbo, and buy art. And so that's how I started, and then moved on to the online selling, and then moved on to the studio. I do a little bit of everything. So I work with children and adults, but mostly children, and we do sewing, we do drawing and painting, we do sculptures, we have full week-long camps. I also have kits, different variety kits. They can come in and take home with all the instructions inside. We do parties, just a little bit of everything. Working with children, when they first come in, it is a lot of fun, but it is pure chaos because I am the non-traditional teacher. So I'm working with them from their perspective. They might come in and have ideas of what they want that are so off the wall <laughs> that it's unique and interesting and it needs to be fostered, but the goal is to make sure they finish and it's something that they can be proud of and they're working with materials that they can put up right away, so it's not something that's going in a box later. It's something that's going on the walls, something that the parents can be proud of, the child can be proud of. A lot of kids that come to camp don't know how to draw yet. So getting them to draw something that they never expected that they could draw, whatever anime character or whatever cool thing is out there for that year, getting them from start to finish and, and watching their expression as they finish it, that's the really cool part. As soon as I was talking to Arts Huntsville, I could feel all of these things coming in my mind. Ooh, I wanna do this. Ooh, I wanna do this. And so I showed them the design and I told them the time frame it would be ready and I took it over to them. And the scary part was the gasp in the air when they first saw the piece. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> but still like awesome, like really cool. I just, I hope that I can live up to that one piece because right now that's the piece, that's the most awesome piece. <laughs> so hopefully I can still continue on and do better than, than previous artworks. My favorite part about Panoply is really the student's tent. The young artists that are coming in, they're creating pieces and they actually get to display as artists. And seeing children take their parents to that tent and lighting up all over, you know, like I did this and I'm here and I made it, I'm just like the other artists. That is so cool to me because I have children and you know, my child was, was there one year, but it is just amazing. All of the information for the art camps are on my website um, at www.denise, D-E-N-I-S-E, onwear, O-N-W-E-R-E, gallery, G-A-L-L-E-R-Y.com.